Hello my dear children welcome you all to my english class on madhu app today we will discuss on our ongoing topic adverbs and adverbials part 4 in which we will hold our discussion on order of adverbs and degrees of adverbs so order of adverbs sometimes there may be more than one adverb in the end position in such a case the normal order is the adverb of manner goes first then comes the adverb of place and finally comes the adverb of time or you can say it mpt manner plus time you can see here some examples given here she sang beautifully yesterday as you know that beautifully is the adverb of manner and yesterday is the adverb of time okay she sang beautifully in the town hall see here beautifully is the adverb of manner and in the town hall is the adverb of place so here you can see that m p we played in the park yesterday here you will find that in the park is the adverbial of place and yesterday is the adverb of time you can see that out of m p t what we have discussed earlier you will see here pt or place and time she sang beautifully in the town hall last night so this is the adverb of manner in the town hall this is the adverb of place and last night this is the adverb of or adverb of time so you will see here the order of m p t manner of manner place and time do you understand again if the verb is a verb of movement requiring or having a destination like go come send arrive reach throw etc the adverb of place goes fast in the group of adverbs in short the mpt order manner place time order changes to pmt or place manner and finally comes the adverb of time see the examples given here we reached home safely yesterday but did we reach yes you are right home we reached home how then comes safely so this is the adverb of place safely is the adverb of manner and if we will put a question when did we reach then comes yesterday so this is the adverb of time now we have got here the manner is here p m and t again in the second example you can see the sent the patient to the hospital by car last night but did they send the patient yes you are right to the hospital this is the adverb of place how then comes by car that's why this is the adverb of manner and when did they send the patient to the hospital definitely the answer is last night so this one is the adverb of time so we will see here now the order of adverbs is p m t so the adverb of manner comes second to the adverb of place and finally comes the adverb of time 
बिकॉज दिस इज द हॉब्स हैविंग सम मूवमेंट रिक्वायरिंग सम डेस्टिनेशन ओके मैंड डियर चिल्ड्रेन नाउ वी विल सी दैट If there are two or more adverbs of time or place, remember two or more adverbs of time or place in the end position. What will happen to the order of the adverbs? So then there will be the adverbs will be arranged in such a manner that the smaller unit will come first, and the larger units will follow them. See here. Meet me at eleven on Monday next week. So, at eleven thirty, this is the smallest unit here on Monday. Larger than this unit, and finally comes last week. Do you understand? We lived in a hotel in Puri. we have already discussed that if there are two or more adverbs of time or place then what happens yes you are right the smaller unit comes first so in a hotel in a hotel is smaller than puri that's why the smaller unit of the adverb of place comes first then follows the bigger unit now position of some adverbs like even only just simply etc because these are the focus adverbs why are these adverbs called focus adverbs because they add some emphasis see here the examples only i met the boys at school you see here only is an adverb of focus and it is used in the beginning of this sentence before i what does it indicate yes it indicates that nobody other than me that's why only is used here nobody other than me met the boys at school in the second sentence i only met the boys at school only met means i didn't do anything else except meeting the boys in the school next one i met only the boys this indicates that other than the boys i neither meet met the headmaster nor anybody else in the school and the last one you can see i met the boys only at school so only at school means the place other than the specific place school i never met the boys so what did you find here only put some emphasis before which it is used it puts emphasis to that word that's why these are called focus adverbs now we will lead to the comparison of adverbs as we have already discussed in the chapter of adjectives likewise adverbs do have some degrees you can see here i can run fast i can run faster than you and i can run the fastest of all you will see here fast faster and fastest so these are the degree forms as we have already discussed positive degree comparative degree and superlative degrees so some adverbs are made from adjectives by adding l y we have discussed it earlier so we form the comparative and the superlative of these adverbs by using more and most 
you can see here slowly more slowly most slowly you can see by adding more and most we can form the comparative and superlative degrees likewise quickly more quickly most quickly cleverly more cleverly most cleverly do you understand very good some adverbs have the same form as adjectives we form the comparative or the superlative of these adverbs by adding er or est as we made it in adjectives you can see hard harder hardest so you will see here er and est fast faster fastest let later latest so by adding er and est we can make the comparative and superlative degrees you can again see here early earlier and earliest but you will see that the y is changed into i here do you see it very good there are some irregular comparison of adverbs you can mark here well better best like badly worse worst far farther or further likewise farthest or farthest little less least much more and most these adverbs don't have some regular form of degree forms now you can make them by adding more or most these are simply something different than the previous ones okay my dear children we have discussed everything regarding order and position of adverbs let's check our understanding so we have to put the adverbs in the right order the first question is arun went and bracketed yesterday into the room quickly what should be the arrangement here you are right it should be pmt why can you say because there is went a verb of movement that's why into the room then comes the adverb of manner quickly and follows yesterday that's why it comes last so the arrangement will be arun went into the room quickly yesterday second one he saw me and in between the brackets you can see in the hotel accidentally and in puri so what will be the arrangement you are absolutely right so it should be he saw me accidentally in the hotel in puri you have told right but can you say why rightly said because the hotel is situated in puri that's why hotel is the smaller unit and puri is the larger unit of place in number 3 you can see i saw him and the adverbs given here are yesterday at 9 o'clock and last month you can see here all three are adverbs of time so what should be their arrangement you are right we have already discussed the smaller unit comes first 
and the larger units will follow it so i saw him at 9 o'clock then comes yesterday at last last week you have told well but why because you can see that this is 9 o'clock in a day you see there are 24 hours so at 9 o'clock then comes this is the time then comes the day and at last comes week then comes month year etc decade then follows century millennium whatever you can say put the adverbs in the right places and fill in the blanks this he likes to come and given here are here usually on sundays can you say can you put the adverbs in the right places yes you are absolutely right usually he likes to come here on sundays then raju dash drives dash dash so the adverbs given here are so carelessly seldom and in the crowd can you say you are right so raju seldom drives so carelessly in the crowd last one sima dash comes dash dash and given here are these days occasionally to her uncle's house you are right sima occasionally comes to her uncle's house then comes these days very good i think you have well understood keep learning thank you bye bye